Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this man into this pencil sketch, and then after that, turn him into a crayon sketch using Affinity's Photo Detect Edges. So let's get started. The way I got this man is I went to the new Affinity Photo Stock tab, and if you don't see that, you can go to View, Studio, and Stock. And you can get photos from Pexels, Pixabay, and Unsplash. I just chose Unsplash, and I typed in man, and there was the photo. And you can use these photos free of charge, and so I dragged it right out onto the canvas. So I took the main thing. I'm, gonna, I'm hiding the one that I previously did. So here is his photo right here, and I'm duplicating that twice with Control or Command J. I did it twice. So I'm going to take the top layer and turn it into a black and white. So I'll go to the adjustments, black and white. And I will maybe get rid of, just brighten it up a little bit. Not too much. We don't want to lose detail. But if I pull the, the skin colors are the reds and the yellows in this photo. So I'm just brightening it up just a little bit like that. And... That's it, and I'm, I'm going to merge that. So if you hit merge, instead of having an adjustment layer, I don't need that anymore. I'm just turning it into one pixel layer. So now that's a pixel layer, and it's in the black and white. And now I'll go to uh, filter, detect, detect edges. Now, one thing I wish Affinity Photo had was an adjustment on how much to, it, edges to detect, but it doesn't, at least as far as I know it doesn't. So this is what you get. And so if you do Control or Command I, you're inverting it. And instantly almost you have a pencil sketch, which I thought was pretty amazing. It really did a good job. Now you can play a little. Um, if you take a white brush, a really low like see where, like here, where I think it's a little dark. I'm going to get a close up there where the teeth are here. If you take a white brush and bring the opacity way down, you can kind of tap because I think that's a little bit too dark by the teeth. So if you tap, you can draw on it too, but I kind of like the tapping. It, so it just keeps adding as I need it. So I'm just going to lighten that up just a little bit. And here, too, I didn't like the way that looked. And you can also do the edges. I won't do the whole thing, but you get the idea of this, right? So now, in a matter of, what, a minute and a half, not even, you just created this great pencil sketch. I used to do it a, a whole bunch of different ways, and it was crazy, and I just found this. I can't believe it. I, I'm sure, again, I'm sure other people know how to do this, but I'm sure some don't, So, because I didn't. So now comes the other part. Now let's hide that. Let's go to the next layer. And, we, and here we have his, a, a duplicate of his photograph. And we're going to go to Filter. Um, nope, sorry. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I don't want it that much blur. But I want to get rid of, um, how do I explain it? Like some of these little details I want to get rid of. I just want color. So I'm saying I'm thinking about that much color. You don't want the details showing. You want to just blur the details, and we say apply. So now I turn this one back on, and all I have to do is go to luminosity blend mode, and now you have a crayon sketch. So I'm not sure if it works with all things, but it definitely works with portraits like this. Um, and I think it's a great, quick, easy way. I, it's one of the best ones that I've seen, and I did find it by accident. Once again, be creative, test everything out. Just because it says it's for one thing doesn't mean it have to, has to be for that. Uh, just play around and you learn different things. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please click like and please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.